Hello. Today is Sunday, December 25th, 2022. Just about the end of the year. It's with some hesitation that I'm gonna make this next video here. If I was to look at mainstream media, I would think that people are dropping off by, people are dropping like flies here. People are lined up at crematoriums and basically, you know, things are just really bad. So, you know, I thought I'd just check it out for myself as much as for you. I thought I'd go out and take a look and see what's going on. I, I found a couple of crematoriums on the GPS. So I'm gonna go out there and see if there's a big lineup. I'll report whatever I see. If it's bad, I'll show you bad. If it's nothing, I'll show you nothing. Okay, I'm just outside of the first one here somewhere. I don't see a sign for it. I don't know if it's an actual crematory or actually just a funeral home. I really don't know. I'm not even sure if I can get into this hospital. So let me take a look. You'd think there'd be big lineups and all kinds of refrigerator cars here. Oh, it looks like they're doing PCR testing here. I don't know if you gotta go somewhere else first to get in. Oh yeah, you have to go over there first to get in. Let's see what happens here. And it should be on the grounds here somewhere. Maybe around back. Wearing a mask, obviously, N95. There is a long line here for PCR tests. Not sure why. It looks like about, I'm gonna guess about 50 people deep. Now there's an old ambulance. Maybe that's when they would let me in. <laughs> See what this is. Oh. That's the elevator to go outside. Oh yeah, this is the funeral home. Nobody, nobody. Okay, so we're getting somewhere now. Oh, that's where they have funeral ceremonies, obviously. Hopefully it's not a problem to have a camera in here. Okay, I can't stick around long because I want to try to get to a second one. So far from what I see here, a lot of people lined up for PCR tests for some reason. There's different reasons to need one. One reason would be you suspect you have the virus. Let's go down this hall. Yeah, these are all... These are all uh, funeral rooms. You can't see in there, but that's what's going on in these. And there's no people, it's quiet here. Well, in their funeral area, no people waiting, no services going on, nothing. It's quiet, nobody even at the desk. But it's somewhat of a relief seeing this. Seems to be nothing going on. I don't see any refrigerator cars lined up like I saw in the uh, mainstream media. Yeah, the hospital doesn't seem to be that busy. And there is a, it's kind of deceiving because when you go by, I'll try to catch it on video when I go past on the bicycle. It looks like the hospital's really busy and there's a big lineup up front. Everybody's waiting for PCR tests. So I want to see if I can get to one more funeral home for you, which is also at a hospital. And uh, I know that one has a fever clinic outside. And we'll see if there's a big long line up there. Yeah, I'll try to show you the line for PCR tests. It's deceiving because it goes right up to the entrance of the hospital. Gives you the impression that there's a lineup to get in the hospital. Show you that next.
This is the actual hospital. Let's see how busy it is inside. Crickets. Crickets in there. But I'll show you this lineup next to you. You'll see what I mean by it's deceiving. This is the entrance to the hospital. Just remember that. So it's actually on the other side of the driveway. That's why it's really deceiving. It's on the other side of the driveway where you get the PCR test. You can't block the driveway. There's a big gap there. Okay, I just got on my bicycle, but I don't dare take my mask off. I'm going to show you the line here now for PCR tests. I'm guessing maybe what 50 60 people probably move fairly quickly because it only takes a second to get a PCR test got the old da by there yeah we got 50 60 people here waiting for tests but like I mentioned if you were to drive by this hospital and you're a mainstream media reporter you're thinking, oh my God, everybody's waiting to get into the hospital and to the fever clinic or something or, you know, deathly sick. But it's a lot, likely a lot of them are, they suspect they have the virus or there's some other reason. Maybe their office requires it, their business requires it. I think some wet markets still require it, all government offices. So if you need to go to a government office, you have to get a test. But let me see if I can quickly get over to one more hospital and check another funeral home before I end this video. Okay, I've arrived at a second hospital that the GPS lists as having a crematorium. Okay, they are still offering voluntary PCR tests here. There's no lineup at this hospital. But these are not mandatory now. You have to want a PCR test to come here. Let's go over and take a look at the fever clinic. See what's going on there. This is the fever clinic. And we got nobody waiting outside. So it seems to be pretty open right now. Does seem to be a bit of a line inside, but last time they were lined up outside. And they can handle a big line. As you can see, they're prepared for big lines here. They're not getting them. If you want to go in there to the fever clinic, my guess is you need to come over here first and get a PCR test, which is likely why many of these people, whoever's getting a test here, is actually getting it done. Finally found it. It's not actually on the hospital property. I really need to improve my language skills in order to ask for help sometimes. This will be it right here. This is the funeral home and or crematory. I don't, it doesn't look to me like it would be a crematory. So I don't know why on my GPS that it says it's a crematory. But funeral home, yeah, I'm guessing this probably is. Now, if there's any, there's no, definitely no lineup out here to get in. Okay, they do have, you see that poster over there? That's showing different types of urns. And at the bottom is caskets. So I've definitely got the right place, but maybe it's just the, the office for handling affairs. because it's not like the other funeral home. So they got their doors open, like they're, li they're open late hours. There's nobody in there except the one guy in the back drinking coffee. This is the correct building for handling of dead people from this hospital. That's my best guess. Certainly no lineup here. There's, there's nobody, there's no people, there's no lineup. There's nothing going on here. So I'll go a little slowly down this street. You'd think there'd be lineups here as well if they were dropping like flies. This, this street sells mainly stuff 
uh, mainly stuff that you would use at a cemetery. Things that you would burn for your for people that have passed and wish them good luck that they might get some of this stuff. And you'd think there'd be lineups down here or these people would be doing a bang up business. But uh, I believe that's mainly what they have on the street and it seems pretty quiet. That's what they're selling there. That's what they're selling here. That's what they're selling there. And over there, but you can't see it because of the van. Got another store here selling the same kind of stuff. And it's quiet. So. I think I'm not totally happy with the mainstream media reports on this. Thanks for watching. See you next time.